One of the cool new things in PowerPoint 2010 is the ability to create very customized shapes like some of the items that you see here by using the drawing tools right in PowerPoint. All of these items on this slide uh, were actually built in less than a minute or two using tools on the insert shapes menu which is right here and we also use some tools called shape subtract and shape union which in my case I've added right up here to the format tab on my PowerPoint ribbon. You can see that there's several tools right here. So for example, if I wanted to um, kind of recreate the same effect of this uh, skeleton key um, with these shapes right here, what I would probably do first is combine these two items right here by welding them together using the shape union tool. So I'm going to select them both and then right here we've got this um, item called shape union and that turns that uh, pair of objects into one object. And then I can take a chunk out of um, the this part of the key by placing these uh, circles right here on top of that rectangle. And watch what happens if I select it and then shift click to select the circle. I can come up here and click shape subtract and it's going to take a chunk out of the rectangle. And same with down here if I want to do the same thing. I would select the main object and then select the item, shift click to select the item I want to remove, and then choose shape subtract. So you can see how quickly you can make a, a pretty customized shape. The thing is, these tools are not going to be visible on your toolbar until you tell PowerPoint that you want them to be. So you do need to kind of hunt for them and activate them on your ribbon. And here's how you can do that. What you want to do is right click on your ribbon and then choose uh, customize the ribbon. And then in the top section right here, we're going to choose commands not on the ribbon. And then use the scroll bar to go all the way down until you find the shape tools. And the ones that I use most are shape union and shape subtract. You can also in, um, experiment with shape intersect and shape combine. Those are pretty cool too. So once you figure out which ones you want to use, you'll also have to figure out where you want to add them on your ribbon. I put mine on the tool tabs in the drawing tools section, the format part of the drawing tools. That just seemed to make the most sense to me. So here's where my new section appears. Um, wherever you want them to appear, you would select that section and then down here at the bottom you can click this button that says new group. That's going to add a new group to that section of your toolbar. And then once you choose the item that you want to add to that new group, you just click add and it's going to appear right there. So now like if I click OK and come back to my toolbar, you can see there's our new group. And it still says new group just because we didn't rename it, but you can call it whatever you like. And now the tools that you add are going to show up right there on your ribbon. So pretty neat feature. We're looking forward to um, experimenting more with those and you can check out um, other tutorials that show some ideas for how to use those tools.